In this quick video tutorial, I'll show you one way to implement adaptive music in Unity and FMOD Studio. And I will use the game Angry Bots as an example. Uh, more specifically, I will focus on the FMOD Studio part, and I will try to get through some of the basics for those who are very new to the FMOD Studio. Okay, so here we go. The Angry Bot game is a free game available from the Unity Store, and you can just go ahead and download it yourself. I'll put the link in the description. And the challenge with creative adaptive soundtrack for this specific game is that the battles are very short. So the battle portion lasts maybe three to five seconds or so, and then we're back to exploring the area. So the challenge is to add extra intensity to the battle, but not make the change too jarring. Otherwise it will get annoying really fast. So my approach was to go with a two layered music. I just call them low and high layers. Uh, the low layer will play all the way throughout the game while the player is exploring the area and the high layer will fade in once the combat starts. So let me just quickly play the game a little bit uh, and I'll show you what I mean and then I will show you how I did it. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about the music itself. I decided to go with something very subtle, which would match the scope and mood of the game. Another thing I did was write a small motif, and whether you're exploring or you're in combat, the motif still continues, so it just helps glue everything together. The motif just becomes more aggressive in a way once the combat starts. So here are my two tracks, low and high. And let me just solo them to show you what I mean. Here's the low track by itself. And here's the high track by itself. And here they are playing together. Another thing I added were these little stingers, which sound like this. And they basically just help Again, cover up the transition and smooth it over. So this is how the whole thing will work. Game starts. And combat starts. So that's the music portion. Okay, I know I said I won't go into the code portion, but I feel like I need to explain a little bit what's going on behind the scenes and how the whole thing works together. So inside Unity, the programmers have already created this file called Music Manager. Without going into too many details, when the game starts, uh, the file calls an event inside fmod called Music and tells it to start. If I go into fmod quickly, you will see that we have an event called Music, uh, which is responsible for the music aspect of the game. Now you will see that the music event has two parameters, location and combat. Uh, I chose not to change the music based on the location and I focused only on the combat parameter. Let's go back to Unity now. Again, without going into too many details, uh, whenever the player is attacked, uh, the combat parameter is set to one. And when the player is no longer attacked, the combat parameter will gradually reduce to zero. I think it happens over about two or three seconds. And why I think it's important to understand is because it helps inform your implementation. Knowing that the combat kicks into one immediately is, is important because you know you have to smooth that over inside fmod. All right, so now that hopefully makes some sense, uh, let's move over to the fmod portion. As you can see here inside my main music event, I have three audio tracks, uh, low, high, and combat intros. I also have some logic tracks here at the top and the tempo is set to the tempo of my music. On the low and high audio tracks, I have event sounds. 
Event sounds are a bit different from the audio files. If this was a regular audio file, the plate head uh, would scrub along the audio track. With event sounds, the sound will play as long as a playhead is intersecting with this box, uh, but it will not re-trigger the sound. The actual audio files are sitting inside the events. And as you can see, I didn't bother creating perfect loops from these files, since I can just set the tempo and set my loop region right inside fmod, which saves some time. <laughs> as you can hear, it loops nicely with no issues. And a high level track is set up exactly the same way. Okay, so let's see what happens when the game starts and the combat parameter is set to zero. Let's try this. Okay, so both the low and high event sounds get triggered and it will start playing on loop because we have loop set inside of this um, event sounds. It also gets caught in this little loop, so it will always stay in this region of the timeline. Um, the size of the loop region is actually pr pretty arbitrary in this case. It could have been one bar or ten bars. And as you can see, there is a volume automation on a high track uh, and the volume set to zero in this part of a timeline. So all we hear is the low track. Then I also have a transition region called to combat. Uh, and as you can see, the transition will kick in when the combat parameter is higher than 0 0.89. So if you remember, if the player is attacked in the game, combat parameter is set to 1, so this will force the transition to kick in. Um, I also didn't use any quantization for this transition, uh, since the game is pretty fast-paced. I want to kick in the combat music without any delay. Okay, so what happens when the combat parameter is set to 1? The playhead will actually advance to the combat flag. And let me zoom in on this. Uh, what's happening here is that the playhead will jump to combat, will keep advancing, and then it will get caught in this new loop. As you can see in animation, the high track is getting faded in over two beats. Uh, it's not an immediate cut, but it's quick enough to be effective. And right here you can see our little stingers, uh, which cover up the transition. It's basically a multi-sound module, uh, which will basically choose one of the two stingers randomly and play it once as soon as the playhead jumps to the combat flag. Uh, so what I'll do now is try to test it uh, inside FMOD Studio. It's been a little bit laggy on my computer for some reason, but let's see how it works. All right, so now let's look at the transition out of the combat. As you can see here, I have this two outro transition region and it will transition out as soon as the combat parameter falls under 0 0.89. It will go to the outro flag. Where the high uh, region will fade out over five beats. Don't ask me why five beats, I just tested the game a bunch and it seemed like a most natural length to transition out. So the high level will fade out, and as you can see I have a bigger loop region here, which will send the playhead back to the beginning, and then it will get caught in this first exploration loop. Alright, let's just try this, try testing this again and see how it works. All right, and there you have it. Simple adaptive music in Angry Bots using FMOD Studio and Unity. Again, this is just one way of doing it. I'm sure there is a million other approaches. This is how I approached it. And all right, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer your question the best I can. And you can find more about me and my music at my website, AnastasiaDivana.com. All right, take care.